Today we are able to show you the making of air history. For a generation, Englishmen have played with the idea of mounting one airplane on the back of another and separating them in mid-air. Now we are privileged to show you the first authentic pictures of this extraordinary aerial experiment which no other country in the world has even tried. Underneath is the flying boat Maya, on her back the long-range seaplane Mercury, below them in a smoke haze, Rochester and the River Medway, and along its banks a lucky few thousand eyes glued on the sky, waiting for the parting. But Pathé Gazette is able to show you even more. From the air, our cameraman had an even better view of the dramatic separation of Mercury and Maya. Years of planning, months of work, went into that simple movement. How was it done? We try to answer the question with an even closer view. To understand the full importance of today's flight, you must realize that a heavily loaded long-range plane needs more power actually to lift it into the air than at any other time during its journey. During their takeoff, Maya and Mercury between them have eight engines and more than 5,000 horsepower. After they have parted, Mercury soars away on just over 1,000 horsepower, while Maya returns to her base, and the greatest single problem of launching long-range planes has been solved. All honor to the genius of designer Major Robert Mayo, to the backing of the British government and Imperial Airways, to the engineers of Short Brothers, and to pilots John Parker and Harold Piper. All of them have made air history. Thank <laughs> you.